Well, I, you know, I get more out of it, I think, than the kids do. I think it's important because this puts me in touch with the people who actually read my books. Um, it's important because I think um, they need to see that an author is an actual human being who has problems, and I'm very much like any other human being. The power that an author can have coming to our school, getting in front of those kids and telling them their story and giving them the tidbits behind the story I think is great. And it really causes them to um, be encouraged to become writers, but also um, Patricia's done a great job of showing them self-worth. One of the things we're working on here is kindness, so her message today just fit right into um, what we've been talking about. So it's one of those things that gives them a real life experience to uh, see the author behind the book you know, and the illustrator message that I have that might be unique is that I'm also a learning disabled student who grew up. So I do love to talk to young people that are having difficulties in school because I have dyslexia, dysnumeria, dysgraphia, and failure of sensory integration. So when I was their age, I had a horrifying time. Couldn't read, couldn't write, mathematics were impossible. So um, I think it's good for them to see that somebody who had that many problems, this is what I do for a living. You know, when I was their age, if you had told me this is what I was going to do for a living, I wouldn't have believed you. I, I would have just laughed. The power is just to show them self-worth. I mean, she's done a great job of telling the kids how they're important, and I think that's important right now uh, with kids with social media and things like that to understand their worth, to have power, either positive or negative use it wisely when they're speaking to people to make the world just, I mean, a lot happier and we get along. For writing, any writers out there, and this goes for children as well as adults who are writers, keep the story simple and very near your heart. A lot of children, especially because of Joe Rowling and the beautiful Harry Potter stories, want to get out there on the edge of the universe in gothic Harry potter -dom. and they get way out there with their story and then they can't find their way back and then they abandon the story. If the story starts here and it kind of goes out but then comes back here, that is what makes it authentic. That helps you find your way home. Um, I write personal narratives, and I think for young people especially, this is a perfect thing uh, to get them into writing. You know, write about their families, write about their pets, write about things they know, write about things they know to be true. And you can't go wrong, you can't go wrong.